you would ask me now, do you believe that minds are created by brains alone? My answer would be no. I don't think that the brain alone is going to be able to do it. Okay, so what is it, what else do I want? Well, I want in the very least that you have a nervous system, not brain, a nervous system that is inserted inside the body proper and that together with that body proper generates a living organism. So a mind is never going to be the result of brains alone or nervous systems alone or, or neuro uh, whatever alone. It's going to be the result, if it is, until proven otherwise, of an integrated functionality that joins together nervous systems and the rest of the organism that is the, the, the body proper. And so what this creates is something that is very often missed, is that the nervous system is not this little thing that we have, well not so little, inside our skulls, but it's actually a very complex uh, system that is distributed into every nook and cranny of the organism and is distributed in a, in a dual relationship because they're neurons that go to every nook and cranny and they're neurons or signaling that comes from those nooks and crannies all over the body. So there is a very, very complex distribution of this surveillance system and a very complex arrangement that allows for a huge amount of interaction.